Okay, so for section 8.3, Foundations 20, we're talking about scale diagrams. Okay, um, I looked up some scale diagrams on the internet here. Uh, you've seen something like this before, maybe a layout or a floor plan, a blueprint for some kind of building for a house or something. Uh, if you've ever been in the market for a new house, uh, or you're, maybe your parents have thought about building a house, or maybe you live in a new build, then you've seen something like this, right? It's a, it's a layout. And not only does it show you sort of where everything is in relation to everything else, it also shows you exact measurements. Um, and so this one right here, let's see, the master bedroom. Uh, this looks like it's 16 feet 6 inches by 13 feet 2 inches. So it appears that maybe this is the 16 and this is the 13 because this one looks a little shorter okay, than this one. And the thing about floor plans uh, or scale diagrams is that they're the exact same shape as the real thing, but they're either really small or you know smaller, or if we're talking about a scale diagram of something really small and we're drawing it on paper like a, the cell or something, like a, a, a plant cell or an animal cell, then that's an enlargement, right? So it's either a reduction uh, or an enlargement. In this case of a house, if we have a floor plan in front of us, that's a reduction. So another, another thing that um, I looked up here, if it's going gonna, it's gonna to come, okay, is, is this. I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, oh, let's go back there. <coughs> yeah, let's go back here. So this diagram right here is what I was um, looking at. And if we zoom in there a little bit, you can see it looks like it's a, well, it's a scale diagram of, a, of an old ship. And uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. You can kind of see, uh, you can't read them, but they have all the measurements and everything is, is drawn out just, uh, uh, just, uh, just so. Okay, so it's the exact same shape as the real thing. It would just be quite a bit smaller. Okay, so that's not a very good picture. Anyways, so I asked you to take a look at these three things uh, uh, and explain them. So a scale diagram, as I've just explained, it's a, a drawing with measurements that are proportional to the real thing, but they're either an enlargement or a reduction, okay? So a scale diagram, I'll write that down. I'll, uh, I'll let you write that down if you haven't got there yet. But it's um, the same shape, you can say that, the same shape, but it's a different size than the real thing. So, and every dimension is proportional. So as we talked about with those floor plans. Okay, the scale itself is the ratio of the measurements on the diagram to the measurements on the actual um, object. So a scale, again, I'm going to write this one out here. So a scale, if we, I think in the book they have uh, K maybe written as the scale factor. Um, but the scale factor is the diagram or the model measurement, okay, divided by the actual measurement. Okay, so it's always the diagram or the representation on top. Okay, and, and that's just something you always want to remember. It's always on top. So the scale factor then, if we have a factor, a scale factor of 1 to 50, it can be written like this, 1 over 50, where of course this is the diagram. It's one unit. And the real thing, for every one unit, there's 50 units you know, is the actual size. Or you can write it like a ratio like this, 1 to 50, where of course this is the the diagram and this is the actual okay or it can be um, you know a percent okay so uh, and again if it's two percent that means the diagram is two percent and the actual is a hundred right two out of a hundred okay um, let's see do I have your text up here okay here's your text so they give you a little um, little example there of a uh, of a diagram there, a little floor plan, something like that. Here's your, uh, your descriptions there of scale diagram and scale. Uh, this communication tip is important here. Let's just zoom in on that maybe. A scale is a ratio or a rate, so it, it does have units. So if you have a scale, it would be, and lots of times we do the same units, meters, the meters, or, but sometimes you can have different units, like a, a scale diagram, you can have one centimeter is to five meters or something. So if it's a scale, it, you have to have the units involved there. But the scale factor is just a number that you would use to multiply, you know, either 
the uh, real measurement by that number to get the um, model measurement. So the scale factor doesn't have units. All right. So here's an example. We'll do this one. Example one, just real quick. We'll cover parts of it. It says a builder plans to construct a house on a rectangular lot as shown in the sketch. Here's the house and here's the lot. Draw a scale diagram of the lot and the house using a scale of one meter is to 500 meters. So as we've already talked about, this one is the diagram. The 500 would be the real thing. Now we don't see 500 meters anywhere in here, so our diagram isn't going to be anywhere close to a meter. There's not going to be a meter on the diagram. But it's important to get from here, it's important to get that scale factor. Okay? So if you're taking, let's say, this uh, front part of the, of the lot, it's 40 meters. So if it's a 1 to 500, okay, the diagram is going to be the 1, and the uh, real thing is going to be the 500. So if you take this measurement and you multiply it by 1 over 500, uh, here we go, this is the actual uh, measurement that you're going to have to write on your paper. Okay? And 0 0.08 meters, just as long as you remember, 0 0.08 meters is how many centimeters? How many centimeters is that? That's eight one hundredths of a meter. Eight, eight ten meters. Yeah, that's eight centimeters. Okay. So yeah, if you're talking about meters, going to centimeters, multiply by a hundred, I guess, to get the centimeters. Okay. And you do that for every dimension. Just nine times one over five hundred, and that's your your measurement. Twelve times one over five hundred, and so on. Okay. So just remember, uh, scale diagrams are the exact same shape. Uh, and here's the answers here. The exact same shape, but just obviously a different size. Either quite a bit smaller or quite a bit larger, depending on what you're making a diagram of. And if you have something in a shape of a circle or something really odd, and um, you want to draw a scale diagram, um, here's the scale factor. So is, the, is your representation going to be larger or smaller? If the scale factor is 5 over 3, the drawing is going to be what? What number represents the drawing here in this scale factor? Is it the top or the bottom? It's the top number, right? So the drawing is going to be the top number. The real one's going to be the bottom number. So if this is your original, scale factor is 5 over 3. Every dimension, whichever one you measure, if you measure this little line here, or if you measure the radius of the circle or whatever, it's got to be times 5 divided by 3. So your diagram is going to be bigger. So here's the diagram. It's bigger by a factor of 5 over 3. All right. Okay. So here's a, here's a picture of the uh, cell. And determining scale factor, well, it's pretty straightforward here. If we have the uh, actual, okay, so the diameter of the animal cell is represented by the scale diagram. It's actually 0.25 millimeters. What's the scale factor used for this diagram? Well, if the width is 3.5 centimeters, then um, the scale factor, again, would be diagram divided by actual measurement. So diagram, and again, getting the units the same, pretty important. Um, I think in the back of the book, I looked at one of the answers for one of the questions, and it gave you kind of two options, one with where the units are the same, one where they're not. So if you can, put the units the same. Uh, and for scale factor, I think the units have to be the same. So for scale, they can be different, but scale factor, they have to be the same. So 3.5 centimeters is actually 35 millimeters. And so that's why they have the 35 on top and the 0.25 on the bottom. You do that division, and your scale factor is 140. So that means that this uh, width of this diagram is actually 140 times as big as the original. Okay. And here's where it says that the variable k is often used for that. Okay. All right. So in summary, I'll just give you, uh, please take one minute just to read through that, either up in the screen or in your textbook, and I'll give you your assignment.
get some do some questions first, please.